Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the studio. Uh, shout out to all the new subscribers. It's really good outside. I live in New York. Ah, amazing weather. But that made me film this video because I just got back and propped the camera and hit record. Uh, we're going to be talking about a device that I've been carrying with me a lot more in the New York streets. Uh, and I am talking about this tablet right here. It is the 8HD Plus, uh, the Fire Tablet 8HD Plus, and it is amazing. It is the 2023 version. I got it last year, and the reason why I'm reviewing this one and I didn't just get the new one is because it's a basically the same thing. It has a couple small little tweaks, but they're basically the same thing. Uh, but yeah, I bought this, um, and I'll link it down below. I have links down below. This is usually on sale. It retails for around 100 bucks, but it's usually on sale. And you know, I got you guys, so I'll have a link down below where it's discounted. Uh, but yeah, for 100 bucks, it's a good tablet. For, uh, for 50 to $60, it's an amazing deal. Uh, but yeah. I bought this because I needed something other than my phone I could carry around to consume media, uh, get video ideas, jot down stuff, and I didn't want to fork over the money to get an iPad or get a Samsung tablet or get a like a, a more expensive tablet. I just didn't want to do that and these cheap Android tablets weren't cutting it for me. You know what I'm talking about, the TikTok shop type vibes. Uh, but I saw this and it really intrigued me. So I had one of these way back. I had like a seven, uh, seven inch one way back. And I genuinely liked it. I knew it had bloatware and a lot of ads, but I enjoyed when I had that one. I used to read a lot, uh, but I bought this one because shout out to the people on Reddit. I'll have links down below for you guys, uh, like tutorials and stuff. Or if you want me to make a video, I'll make a video. But you can get Play Store services on here, like Google Play, uh, G Keyboard, uh, Gmail, G Drive, G Photos, the whole suite you can get on here. And uh, you can also remove all the bloatware. As you see, my screen looks a lot different than your screen because I have no ads. And the reason why this one's always on sale and it's always cheap is because they bank on you getting it and using it as is but you can get so much more with so little time and you don't even need to be a crazy expert uh they're easy to quote unquote jailbreak uh, there's a file that you download specifically on pc and it goes through step by step on how to do it uh i have a 64 gig uh of internal memory I also add a 200 gigabyte SD card because I will be showing you guys let me actually unlock the tablet and here it is with stock ish Android it is not full stock Android so this is not a custom uh, ROM or uh, kernel it's just literally just the fire tablet with all the ads removed and the custom launcher um, at the moment, I am using Nova Launcher. You can get Microsoft Launcher, and I think you can get, uh, I think it's called Niagara Launcher. Uh, but yeah, I have stock. Um, it looks mostly stock, and I have a nice wallpaper. Um, I chose this one because it's by far one of my most minimal uh, launchers, but I have no ads. I don't get ads. I blocked all the ads. I've blocked most of the stuff. If you are in the Amazon ecosystem, that might be a problem because uh, to get rid of ads and uh, most of the Amazon uh, apps uh, do not work. Even if you try downloading them from the app store, they do not work. Uh, Audible doesn't work. Kindle doesn't sync correctly. But I personally have apps to combat all of that, if I'm being honest. So, um, an alternative to Kindle, I have this one, which is Read Era. So I like going out and reading. If I'm not reading on my actual Kindle, I have a Kindle Paperwhite. But if I'm, I'm like on the train or something and I want to read in color, um, I use the Read Me app and I've synced up all my books, comic books. Well, comic books are not worth it on this and I'll show you why. So let me just put up a random book. Uh, I don't know, uh, just a random book. Let me see, ooh, I don't know what to put. 
Uh, all right. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and it'll load. Just give that a minute for it to load. And there's the title and the page, and then you just turn the pages. And it looks really, really good quality. And then you can start reading uh, vertically. You could also go like that. And read like that. I usually read like this because it's just a lot better for me personally. Uh, but yeah, you could just continue reading. I'm on the train. I could read, do what I got to do. Uh, but when it comes, which is phenomenal, and it keeps track of where you're at. So you guys can't really tell. But there's like a whole right here. There's like a line and it just keeps going and going until you finish. And it says read. Uh, it also says reread, uh, which is funny because read era uh, but if you're trying to use that specific app to do comic books it uh, does not work let me pick a real good comic book that I can show off <sighs> mm, which one which one which one which one can I pick uh, I'm looking for a specific one where are the Ninja Turtles I guess I don't see the Ninja Turtles but we will do scroll, scroll, scroll. It's just randomly, damn, this is tough picking. All right, All right. let's pick Deadpool. Um, let me show you guys how comic books show up on this. Yeah, uh, not great. Even if I turn it this way, like I had it before, you can't scroll left or right. It has to be up and down. And that is uh, just, not uh not good because i'm reading up and down is not a good way but besides that reading actual books on here is phenomenal using the read era app i have another app for when it comes to actually getting books to read and i will show you guys real quick it is called uh c display x i have the light version you can get the paid pro version for only five bucks, which is a good deal, which I might actually end up doing because I do read a lot of comics and you could do certain things with the pro version. But as you guys can see, I was actually reading uh, Mad Magazine beforehand and it actually reads from left to right. You could also read up and down, but that's just weird. Uh, but yeah, you could just continue reading. Bam, bam. You could also look that when it's like a longer comic. Uh, you can also read like that. Wait for that to load. But yeah, you can read normally. And reading normally is just phenomenal. I'm usually on the train. Just reading, literally. Uh, comic books. Uh, I tend to read magazines as well, depending. There's certain, like, comic strip the magazines I like reading. Some of the creature stuff is cool as well. And it uh, keeps all your comic books like this. I have my comic books set up in different like folders. Uh, I, it's not everything that I'm reading at the moment. Uh, I also have physical. I have a video on it, link down below. Uh, but yeah, all my comic books are like in folders. You just click on the folder and it pops up all your comics. Click on Marvel's Weekly and all the Marvel for the week. Uh, go back. Indie, click on indie, and all the indie stuff is here. Like uh, this one, let me know if you know what this is. I'm not gonna hint, give you any hints, just let me know if you know what that is. Uh, but yeah, there tends to be some ads on the non paid version, but it's very minimal. But let's go back to the beginning. Uh, I have other apps like I'm testing right now. Uh, Audible doesn't work. I have audiobooks which I've been testing out. And if I want to get an audiobook, uh, the audiobook, uh, the audiobook bay. Uh, I'll link it down below as well. You can listen to free audiobooks, and I've been doing that. You can also download audiobooks on that website. Uh, this is a certain. Uh, plug-in for Chrome browsers that allows you to do that. It's a bit tedious, but it works. I've downloaded certain, uh, well, I borrowed certain audiobooks from that app 
and uh, from that website I mean and it works uh, and I just put them on my G Drive and uh, go on about it um, I have TikTok Lite VLC for uh, videos uh, I tested Microsoft Launcher which is also pretty good um, I have the G keyboard I have photos the Play Store obviously you have to have the Play Store because uh, the Amazon store just doesn't cut it. I have Google Assistant. I have uh, Canva, uh, ChatGPT, Freebie. Uh, Grand Wars 2 is a great phenomenal strategy game. Uh, but I also have Showbox. Yes, it's 2025 and I am still using Showbox, Moviebox, whatever you want to call it. I still have it and it's great. It not only lets you stream, but you can also download uh, episodes. Uh, I actually have a couple episodes. Let me go to files. I have. I was actually watching this on my way back to the. And mind you, I'm only downloading stuff that I already have for the most part. Um, same thing when it comes to like books. You, you, if you've been following me on the channel for a while and seen my videos, uh, a lot of the books that I have downloaded, um, I have physicals for. Like these uh, legends, like carrying this book, cool. Uh, but I have the ebook of it. Same thing, Force Unleashed, Ahsoka, a lot of the manga, and uh, when it comes to shows, I have, I have, um, I have all the Harry Potter stuff. And yeah, I was watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Uh, you guys can't really tell. Let me get a good scene, cause oh, but yeah, I was watching the whole movie. It looks really good, 1080p, full HD, um, and it just looks and sounds great. I'll just play a little bit of it just so you guys get the gist of how the sound is. Let me fast forward. I'm gonna play at full volume. Well, let's play 80%. The Dark Lord is gone. The Dark Lord will return. When he does, the boy will be in terrible danger. It's a bit glossy, yes, but if you're looking directly at it, you won't notice it. Let's skip forward. And it is literally the full movie. Um, I use VLC player always because it locks, it has a feature where it locks your screen and you can just hold it and not worry about exiting the video or whatever you're listening to. But that's why I got this. This is an inexpensive tablet. It does the job for most people and all you need is a, a PC software to get Play Store services and uh, remove ads because I I know people that have paid $10 to remove ads on their tablet and technically you still get recommended ads technically uh, you just remove the ads from the home screen and the actual um, a lock screen but on actual like a stock ones you scroll to the left and it's just full of ads and advertisement I don't like that but I've turned it into a cheap Android tablet for under a hundred or at a hundred it's a good deal alright I'll catch you guys in my next video I'm super excited let me know if you get one and if you do uh, take a picture tag me on Instagram alright peace out